Okay, today what we're going to do, uh, first we'll get a less distracting background. There we go. We're going to use a document here, and I'm going to follow along just like we were on a phone call, and you were calling in for phone support to fix a problem with Internet Explorer. Eventually at the end I'll do a couple of real quick things on Firefox and we'll go into some other settings. Now, these will be to presume that you might have a problem with um, uh, locking up or slowing down of Internet Explorer, having some trouble over the Internet, or you're getting error messages when you're trying to access a website, something to do with compatibility or whatever. So we're going to run through just as if you were calling me in the places where I used to work at. So I'm going to leave this up here, and what I want you to do is take the window that you're watching this video in and go up here and minimize it and make it small and put it, stick it right over on the edge of the, set it over there to the right where you can get to your icons, your start button and you can pause the video when I tell you to pause after each thing that I tell you to do you'll be able to pause and then you can do it and follow along and do it as we're talking uh, with the exception of when you need to restart the browser which I won't have you do you can um, go ahead and follow along all those things but I'm gonna go through there and show you what to do and how to do it so I'll go ahead and you can pause the video now and minimize the screen or not minimize but make it about half size okay now that you're back we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna have you come down open Internet Explorer my mistake there we go So, what we're going to do, depending on the version that you have, I'm presuming most people have a fairly newer version. It's not something that's out of service with Microsoft now. You're going to go over here and click where it says Tools, or you're going to go up here and click Tools. And there's a thing called Internet Options, and I want you to click the options. There's other things we'll look at later, but right now we're going to go in there. We're going to click options and open it up. If you want to know which version you got, it tells you right there. I have 11. You can check or uncheck to have it automatically upgraded. Uh, some versions can only be used with 7 or 8. They can't be used with Vista or whatever. But we're going to go in here very first thing on our menu for basic browser maintenance is to check the browsing history and we're going to have it clear the browsing history. Now you don't have to do this if you want to go back and look at where you've been. You don't have to tell it every time that I go up in the corner and close it. Delete all the browsing history so that what's called the cache or uh, these files aren't going to build up because it'll save cookies and all sorts of things. Show you what we're talking about. Um, every time you come in it looks for new pages and it saves the pages and it puts them in the temporary internet files. Now if you go into this settings button you can change this, make it larger, make it smaller. Uh, typically you'd want to go maybe 500 to 1024. It's recommending up to 250, but you can go higher than that. I'm actually going to change mine. Um, also I'll let you know that when you do uh, upgrade to another version, it may change the settings. You may have to go back in and do them again. But in any event, you set those things here. You can change this to whatever behavior you want that to do. That's entirely up to you. And 
you can set it to either go so many days I would recommend not going more than four or five days because it will take up a lot of space and clutter up the computer and if you don't remember to go back in and manually do it then you're just going to build up it's like having trash sitting all over your entire kitchen and living room because it's been stacked up for a week so there's places here where you can go in in here and you can make these changes you really can kind of leave it about where it's at with the exception of putting this how you want to do that so you go ahead you set that where you want it you click OK if you don't want it to fill up at all right there check that box now we want to clear it out first thing somebody's going to tell you to do is click open up to here and click delete now it's up to you if you save the passwords and you want it to save them which I don't necessarily recommend I have recommended elsewhere that you find a way to save them put them somewhere else safer then you can uncheck that but that's entirely up to you um, whether you want it to fill forms out automatically with your information you can check or uncheck that that's up to you but you at the bare minimum you need to get rid of the internet files and the cookies and the the uh, histories you can change any of the rest of these that you want to now one thing you must must do before you hit delete you must go up and preserve favorites if you do not move the window out of the way well, you can't see it but over here where you have your favorites or up under here you'll come back and you'll suddenly find that everything you saved is gone you had better make sure that's checked unless you have saved it if you don't know how to save them and retrieve them and import them back in you better check that box I'm going to go ahead and click delete and I'm going to tell you you can go ahead and pause the video here and do that and then come back now that you've deleted the security tab over here You have a setting for internet. You need to be bare minimum at medium high, or if you're kind of paranoid, nothing wrong with that, you can set it up there. You'll get a few more times that you're going to get uh, pop up messages. Also, you might want to click enable protected mode. Now, we're not going to restart Explorer, we're not going to close it and restart right away but it will require you to restart to get that to work in fact at the end of setting it it's a good idea to do that anyhow but check enabled have it at least medium to high don't worry about that one over here on trusted sites you can actually go in and tell it which things you want it you know your web provider your home page your uh, video audio card manufacturer you can add those in here go up and cut and paste the addresses click the add button paste them in there uh, click add and it puts them into the box okay now this one here this would uh, should be set up a little bit higher to prevent damage from uh, things that would attack your computer you can manually set that if you want to you don't have to a lot of times messages will come up and you can simply click OK to put them in this area once again we're using protected mode as we did back here so you can go ahead and click pause you can click apply and pause your machine and I'll let you catch up with that now that you're back we're going to go to privacy a big big deal for many people here pop-up blocker a lot of places will ask you to turn it off go ahead and check it you can go here to the settings link and you can go in here and tell it the address of the ones that you do not want or the pardon me the ones that you do want to pop up 
you can block all the other ones but if you absolutely need it for your account at LinkedIn whatever it is you go in here you add it set it in there you can remove it later uh, if you want it to, to ping when it does that you check the box or get a notification now you can also set the pop-up blocker anywhere from low to high how many you know how do you want it to do this again you click close and you click apply we're not going to do that quite yet while we're on this page you have a choice I would recommend doing not to click your physical location just a security matter entirely up to you uh, you can check or uncheck the toolbars and extensions if you want to go to do banking and other bill paying you'd use the private browsing you may not want to disable your toolbars you may get in there and have trouble going through and navigating on the window so that's entirely up to you once again I would uh, recommend to uncheck that though I don't use Explorer so you can see I haven't since it upgraded itself I haven't come back and reset it up here for your privacy settings you should probably go medium to medium high at best you may want to go a little bit higher but you should at bare minimum have that there once again you can set specifics if you go into a site that gives you a message and it tells you come to your privacy tab go to your sites and make a change you can come in and you can do these things you really don't need to but you go there and you can go ahead and pause and do that so let's check and make sure we've gone through and without missing anything the other thing I will want to go back and check over here we don't have the pull down so we don't have to worry about that we're gonna skip this button just go beyond that we don't need to do this it should be already set up and connecting to the internet unless you have virtual private network where you work uh, somebody at your work would tell you to go in here and click this and tell you what to put and make changes to that if you need to we're going to ignore that unless you want this to be your default web browser that comes up if you have more than one and you want this to be your main browser you would go ahead and check this box check right there that's entirely up to you you would have it do that now here's the more important thing here advanced tab I'm recommending you to check right there unless it causes a problem typically you check this to avoid problems but unless you specifically have somebody where you use a proprietary software or something and it will not work go ahead and check this, the GPU rendering go ahead and come down here come on down make sure you tell it to use the HTTP keep going further down you can go in here once again under security tell it to empty the temporary internet files if you want it to when you close the browser you can tell it to use enhanced protected mode which we did before but you can check it there that makes it a little bit it adds another feature too I'm not sure exactly what they are but here's what we want to look at right here if you have not got this higher version haven't got that checked I recommend you check that and the TLS 1.2 make sure you have those newer the newest versions that are listed in your window like I say this window might be mildly different for you make sure you get that checked go down here and apply them what I'm not going to have you do right now is to restart the browser another thing typically that I did when I had people in there after we did all these things if they shut it off and reopened the browser and it didn't work I would go in here and have them uh, 
it would restart the browser and then we would re reset I'm going to show you how to do that but don't do it quite yet or you'll disconnect from the video and have to start over we don't need to do that but what you would do is click that button this right here if you check that button it's going to wipe every one of these things they will be reset and you'll lose everything home pages search providers uh, ActiveX filtering tracking passwords all these things that you've saved uh, all your shortcuts all that stuff it's going to wipe the settings and you're going to have to go back restart and redo all of them now on a troubleshooting call maybe it didn't work the first time we have to have you do this and then go back and walk through all those steps that we just did we would do that but you would re you would uncheck that you would click reset and it would make you restart the computer or rather it would restart Internet Explorer but it may ask you to restart the computer also to write things in the registry we're not going to do any of that we've walked all the way through here and I've had you set each one of these tabs if you want you can go in here and change the way Internet Explorer looks you can do all of these goofy little things in here you want to do once again that's you know entirely up to you what you want to do but we're not going to walk through all that I'm just going to have it cancel for now later on after the video you can go up and uh, click the buttons and restart it and do your do your thing there so we've walked through we went through all of the restarting the browser now if you're on a laptop you go into the power options I don't have a laptop but I'm gonna show you on the control panel what it will kind of look like you will see a power options in your control panel on your laptop you would have uh, these basic power settings however you want however if you're having problems with it shutting down while you're doing downloads while you're doing updates if you don't want it doing that you would need to come over here uh, and change these to never that prevents it from shutting down and cutting off what you're doing what you're working on especially if it hasn't been saved and it shuts down you've just lost all your work so that's one thing you'd want to do with a laptop is set that up on your desktop you don't have to set that that way and then if you're familiar with what these mean and you want to go in and you want to set them on your desktop or your laptop that's entirely up to you but that's how that works so that's uh, resetting plugging we've gone through all of those that's made all of your changes to your Internet Explorer one other thing that we always advise people if you're having a connection problem go in check your Ethernet cable that's the one that has it's like the telephone cable that goes in the wall it has that sort of it clicks when you connect and disconnect it into the outlet has a little plastic uh, terminal on the end of it the connector check that Ethernet cable and check your power AC wall cord that plugs in make sure it's plugged in at both ends check both ends of both cables maybe the only problem you're having why it won't connect to the internet and you cannot guarantee that somebody can connect or get a certain web speed because that's entirely out of the hands of anyone except your service provider one little other thing I'll show you I'm gonna go ahead and kill that distraction you see the little monitor sometimes you'll see the five bars like on a cell phone like in the commercial about the bars the five bars or you'll see a window down here when you hover you see it says internet ac access if you click it it's going to tell you whether at the moment you're connected or not one of the ways to troubleshoot if you think you're connected to the internet and something's not working is to look you may not be connected pop that comes back over here and it tells you it's going from the PC into 
the whatever type router from your provider whoever going out it's wireless it's ethernet whatever it is it's going out and it's hitting the internet it's working there are no red X's anywhere in that path okay also it tells you you're on local area connection and you're not on Wi-Fi you can get that information and simply double check that there by clicking right there we're gonna go back out of it again we're going to come back over here and we're gonna to go to Firefox and I'm gonna very quickly show you Firefox I have a version called nightly it's not basic Firefox but it's um, other than the, the theme and the other things it works the same as Firefox you have these menus along here just like in Internet Explorer if you don't have these in Firefox or Explorer you right click up here in a blank in a dead spot up there and you check menu any of these that you check or uncheck will begin to appear up there at the top so you check in there and get your menus if you want those otherwise you have to either come over here there's going to be depending on once again which version you've got you're gonna have different emblem over there logo icon you go over here and you click and you go in and you've got all your settings and so forth are in here so you can see all that you can even customize it from there what we're going to do here is we're going to hit tools going to go to options now if somebody tells you that one of your add-ons your plugins whatever they're calling it is have maybe having a problem and creating a conflict with your web browser they're going to have you go to that that is in here too uh, your settings for different applications that you've downloaded um, third-party things that you've loaded some of them will be in here but you're going to go into options now over here you can set what your web page is go find your web page come over and once you have nothing but the one you want to pop up you're gonna click current page put it in there every time you click the button and it opens up it'll go to that home page wherever you want it to go now outside of setting where your downloads go which you don't always want it to automatically do there's nothing we're going to look at we're not going to make any changes over here uh, other whether to remember websites or not uh, passwords uh, you can check these for security you can go over here tell it not to track you these things are entirely all up to what you want to do with it the one thing I'm going to show you in order to increase the performance of the web browser when you go to the advanced tab regardless how this looks whatever fashion it takes to pull down or whatever it is you're going to go to the advanced tab and then it has all of these other tabs you want to go in here and you're going to tell it to save however much uh, you want it however large you want it to save and as I told you before it'll say anywhere from 50 to 500 to 1024 and it may not go any higher than that I've changed mine and told it to do that but here's how you clear it out you see it says one one gigabyte shoot it's eating all that up so it's full we're going to go ahead and clean it. Now if you click off of it, see that it didn't change. But if you click it again, it's cleaned it all out. Uh, connection settings, like I said, with Internet Explorer, you really don't need to bother with that. You don't need to bother with any of these other things. So that's the very, very quick version. There's a whole lot of things you can do going up into here and using what are called command lines to make this run faster. I'm not even going to go bother going into that. So there's your options how to do that and uh, clear up some of your performance issues there. Then you can also go in and you can clean out your bookmarks and do other things. Um, 
I, well, I'm really not going to show you anything else in Firefox. Most people that use it, uh, it either works or they go into the Firefox help and they get that done. So we're going to go out of, go out of that and move on to other things. Okay, so we've done Firefox. User account controls. You may be getting a message about the user account control or somebody telling you there's a conflict with downloading, updating because you have your account control turned on or turned off. Inside the, if you go over to your control panel and you come in here, down at the bottom we looked at Windows Update uh, previously. We looked at some other things. We're going to look at the user account control. We're not going to set and create controls, uh, accounts rather, but we're going to go in here and do this. If you want to not have the irritating pop-ups that black out the screen and make you wait and slow everything down, and you have those error messages, somebody will come in here and tell you, never notify. They may tell you to turn it back on later if you want to. Normally it's set there at default. I shut that completely off. And then you click OK and it's going to have you restart the computer. It gets rid of that garbage little thing. It's not an antivirus. It does nothing. It annoys you, but it does nothing else. That's entirely up to you. You can come in here and do other things. I'm not going to recommend it and since this is for basic users I'm not going to get in there we're not going to play around so that's how you turn user account controls on and off if you want to pause the video and go back in and make those changes you can go ahead and do that back here in the control panel we're going to now move on to Adobe Flash. You could be having issues with, um, like on my website there, the Xfinity one. Sometimes also with the SBC, Google, Yahoo, whatever you want to call that homepage. They have those little news reels and all that little garbage floats across your screen. Right there, Flash Player. Come in there, click that flash player, and you have here storage. Um, you can set these however you want to set these. In order to clear that out, you click delete all. Somebody may also ask you to come over here and say um, it may not have the correct version of these set up to run the certain window or wherever you happen to be at maybe having a problem and they'll tell you to come over here and if you're like me if you manually do it and you don't want it doing it three or four times a day in the background slowing things down they'll have you come over here and check to make sure you got these updated once again browser data and savings wasting space come right there you click delete all check this box at the top uh, if you've got uh, mp3s or something and you don't want to lose your uh, if your player when you turn on a song always goes and looks for the looks for these licensing files you may not want to check that because it'll just make everything take longer and you click delete data cleans out flash so we've just done that and I'm going to Go ahead and have you pause the video and go in here to the Flash Player and do those two tabs. Now we're up to Java. Double click it, has its own control panel. It eventually comes up. The two things they're usually going to do when you call in someplace if you need to update or not they're gonna have you do it a lot of times it runs many times a day as I said I uncheck it and manually go do it you may not want to do that you may want to do that otherwise they may have you go in check your version tell you that it's an old version and they want you to update it 
they'll tell you to come over here and these tabs also once again they depend on which version you have the tabs and the settings under the tabs differ so they may have you go update from here and then they might also want you to come over once again temporary internet files they'll have you come over here click on it they'll tell you whether they needing needing it to save or not to save they'll tell you where they want to set that if they do or don't want you to they'll give you settings here once they give you the settings they'll tell you to delete the files you'll go ahead you'll do that you'll clear the Java out clearing those two things, clearing your cache on your Internet Explorer or Firefox, those three things right there will improve the speed of loading pages and navigating on the Internet. And they affect other programs occasionally too. There will be other things they'll come in here and ask you to do. Set whether you want Java to be used with Explorer or the Mozilla family, that's Opera, Firefox, and all the other usually you don't do too many other things in here sometimes there's a thing in here about automatically updating um, they'll have you check or uncheck that there's other things that are in here depending on the version so it depends on what your issue is and what what you're who you're calling again try to make sure you have the latest versions of those checked so that it is as secure as you can make that click your apply button click OK move out of there and pause the video now that you've went in and checked your Java we're gonna go over if you've got QuickTime I also don't have real time in here but QuickTime real time DivX any of these other things like that that you have that play uh, audio files video files you come in here you can make all any number of kinds of settings to improve those um, you can set it for what you want to do inside of a browser Internet Explorer or Firefox how is it going to pop up and play we're not going to worry about that you can update it tell it to automatically or not automatically update it you can go in there if you want add-ons to the thing this is how you find them click that button and it goes over to the internet and then you go dredging through thousands of or however many depending on if you just go here to their website they've only got a few or you can go some other third party and they have billions of them uh, we're not going to go through any of that the advanced tab once again set your cache size you may not want it to be terribly big they tell you to, to clean the cache they want you to do that there that's on your advanced tab and other less significant things right there uh, but if it's a video specific problem specific to that Apple player they'll come in and have you do other things there but in any event that's where you find it how you open it how you make your settings so you can do that there there would be a real player over here you would do about the same thing they look about, about the same uh, so you can go ahead and pause and go back into QuickTime and do that if you'd like to. Uh, so we did those. Now, the double Jeopardy bonus round, we're going to go into sound card settings. Previously we went in and I showed you in your sound card how to find your information and they vary. Yours probably won't look like mine unless you have the specific thing. It's going to tell you how to get to your website find your updates you know get your updates it's going to tell you what versions you have installed if somebody should ask you for the information um, the one thing I would suggest is that you go in and to know how to do the key short uh, keyboard shortcuts that was in the other videos to go in here and to uh, look at the hotkey settings and find out what they are so that you know when you're doing that but in any event a lot of times it'll be there or if it's Nvidia it might be in here 
my sound card is real tech I don't know what yours is you look for the name look through here could be any number of things in here uh, go in and you look for them in your audio manager the important thing is making sure you know what the ports are and where you plug the cabling in the back of course if you plug an input into an output it won't work you would put microphone into the input and this is output your speakers would plug in there make sure you get those correct you can do all your little various and sundry fun and exciting settings and everything in there set yourself up has one for each output uh, has other settings in there that's where you find those you can set your volumes in there you can set your microphone uh, you can do all those settings in there um, get your information about your computer and stuff in there that's where you find all of that is in there if you have a microphone set up that will be over here in sound and so that's going to have all your speaker inputs it's going to have any of your other recording inputs uh, it's going to have your system sounds in there and all this other so that's how you find all those and you configure those things you come in here to do that so basically you've now walked through and found all of the places and the settings people would have you go into to troubleshoot a problem particularly that was with um, working on the internet and having a problem uh, running your internet browser and navigating uh, also if you go on uh, one of the separate pages from the videos there's one called update links and screenshots and you'll find a place where your flash player shockwave reader all these things that you want your web browsers your Java all those things we were just working with you have your update link to go get all that right there and you've got some informational pages are in there as well um, I don't see the screenshots oh that's because I use the one from my uh, computer but on the you'll have some screenshots down there as well on the website so there you have it that's what you would you can do that before trying to call Geek Squad or Microsoft or whoever and if you do call them they'll walk you through those things and you'll be familiar with it thank you